Ever feel frustrated with missing or outdated program information in your favorite IPTV app? This video will show you how to create your own electronic program guide and take control of your viewing experience. Hi, welcome back to Pinos Bytes, the go-to place for all things related to optimizing your streaming experience. Today, we have an exciting tutorial in store for you as we dive into the world of electronic program guides, or EPGs. A common problem is that the EPG offered by providers only covers one day, or is completely missing. This is, to put it mildly, very inconvenient. Fortunately, there is a solution. You can create your own EPG, update it every day, and upload it to a host. This way, you will always have an up-to-date EPG. To create our own program guide, we use two software programs. First, WebGrab Plus, to download the channel program data. Second, Config Maker, to easily select the channels whose program guide we want to see. Optionally, we can use another program to add channel logos to our EPG. So, let's start downloading the software. The links are in the show notes below. Go to the download page of WebGrab Plus, click the button with your operating system and save the installation file. You might get a warning that this file isn't being downloaded much. Click the three dots and select Keep. Next click More and select Keep Anyway. Proceed to GitHub and download the ConfigMaker zip file. At GitHub, download the optional software to add logos to the EPG. Finally, we need to download the TV logos when you want to use custom channel logos. Back to GitHub to for the download. Click code and select download zip. Save it in the same download folder as before. Now that we have the necessary software, let's install it. Go to the folder where you've downloaded the files and double click the WebGrab Plus installer. Accept the default settings. When the installation is finished, check the checkbox and click Finish. The installation folder opens. To get easily access to this folder, add it to Quick Access. Open the folder with the installation files. Create a map in the installation folder, name it Logos, and open it. Open the Logos zip file. Select all and copy it into the folder you just created. Move back to the WebGrab installation folder. Make a new folder, name it ConfigMaker and open it. Go to the folder with the downloaded files and open the ConfigMaker zip file. Select all files and copy them to the folder you've just created. Next, open the folder with the installation files. Open the add logo zip file in the download folder and copy the only file inside to the installation folder. Now everything is in place, we first need to register at WebGrab Plus and become a donator. Click the register link in the top right corner. Go ahead and enter your details to create an account. When done, log in. You'll be directed to your account page. Notice that I am already a donator, as shown by the badge. Click the Support Us button to become a donator. 
Carefully read the instructions on the page. Keep in mind that it may take up to 8 hours before you'll receive your license. When you've received your license, you're good to go to create your configuration file. Let's open the installation folder. Locate the folder ConfigMaker and open it. Check the file configmaker.exe to see if it is locked. Right-click the file and select Show More Options. Next select Properties. If the file is locked, you will see an Unlock checkbox at the bottom. Tick it and press OK. Now open the file by double-clicking it. A pop-up appears, asking if the site in e.pack should be downloaded. Click Yes. The site in e.pack is necessary for ConfigMaker to work correctly. The file is being downloaded from the WebGrab Plus site and placed in the ConfigMaker folder. After the download is complete, ConfigMaker opens. Before we continue, you need to understand how to link the EPG to your channel list. To use a custom EPG, you have to use an M3U playlist. When you add a playlist to TV Mate, it must be either an M3U or Extreme Code. With these options, you are allowed to add a separate URL for the EPG. For this video, I've created my own playlist with free to use streams. It looks like this. The first line contains information about the channel. First, there is TVGID, this is the ID of the channel. TVG name, this shows the name of the channel. TVG logo contains the URL to the channel's logo. The group title, this is the group this channel is in. And lastly, the name of the channel. The next line contains the URL of the stream belonging to that channel. You have to use TVG ID or TVG name to link your EPG to the playlist. When your list has a TVG ID, then use that ID. If not, you have to use TVG name, which has a slightly different approach. That being clear, let's go back to ConfigMaker. Create a new configuration and give it a name. Remember the site in e.pack that was downloaded? This is displayed in this window. Find the country of your choice in the list below and tick the checkbox. In the right part of the window, the sites appear. Just above the site you see a field called Channel. Here you can type the channel name you want to add to the configuration. The results are shown below as you type. There will be multiple entries. You can select the one you think is best. Sometimes you will find that a site does not have data for this channel or does not allow grabbing. In that case you'll need to select another site. This is trial and error. So select the channel you need. Next to the checkbox, the channel name is displayed. Next to that, the default XML TV ID and to the right of it, the custom XML TV ID. With this option, you can override the default value. Now remember the IDs of the playlist. The channel I selected in ConfigMaker has a TVG ID in the playlist. To link the EPG data to the playlist, enter that value in the custom XML TV ID field in ConfigMaker. When a TVG ID is not available, you need to use the TVG name. With this approach, you'll need to edit the configuration file when it's ready. We'll come to that later. Follow the same procedure to add all the channels to the configuration. Because this is quite time consuming, I've speeded up this part of the video. When you think you've added all channels, clear the channel search field and click the checkbox next to it until it is checked. The window below now displays all channels you've added, giving you the opportunity to check if all channels are there. If so, you can save the file. The configuration file has been saved to Installation Folder, Config Maker, Configurations and the folder with the name you gave the configuration when creating it. In this case, Netherlands. 
Here you'll find a file named webgrab++.config.xml. Open it to see the content. Let's break the important things down. For a more extensive explanation, visit the documentation page on the WebGrab Plus site. First, file name. This is the name the file is given after grabbing the data. Optionally, you can add a path before the file name. Post process. This is a process that runs after the grabbing is done. For this video, it's being used to create an XML file with channel logos added. Under grab, enter yes to indicate that grabbing must be done before the post process. Then under run, enter yes, meaning the post process will run after grabbing. Next, fill in the path and program name you want to run. Here, that's at logo.exe. The program you've downloaded earlier. This program needs an XML file name to read. That is the file name under which the EPG data is saved. In this case, netherlands.xml. Next, an XML file to write to. That will be the file with all the EPG data, including the information on the custom logos. This will be the file that will be referenced in TVMate. And, as last, a text file which links the channel names to the custom logos. License, here you have to enter your WebGrab account username and email address. Under password, enter the license key you received. When you use WebGrab Plus for the first time, enter the letter F at the end of this line. Under time span, enter the number of days from which you want the EPG. Under update, enter how you want the EPG to update, where the letter I forces update of today. New shows and the rest as incremental. And lastly, the channels you selected when creating the config. Notice the XML TV ID. This contains the TVG ID you entered in the custom XML TV ID of Config Maker. In the playlist, the TVG ID for NPO politics and news was missing. To link the EPG correctly, change the channel name at the end in the exact same channel name as in the playlist. So copy the channel name from the playlist and paste it in the configuration file. Save this file to the WebGrab installation directory. The WebGrab configuration is now ready and can be used to retrieve the program information. But before we do that, we need to make some preparations. TVMate accepts local files and URLs to load EPG data. The most convenient is a URL, so you can automate the update process and don't have to deal with it on a daily basis. For this video, I'm using a free hosting provider, and X10 Hosting meets the requirements. So go over to x10hosting.com and create your account. Select a subdomain during the process. Once created, log into your account. Select Hosting Control Panel. Then go to File Manager and select Public HTML. This is the directory where you upload the EPG XML file once created. When you want to use custom logos instead of the ones included in the playlist, click Create New Folder and name it Logos. Here we'll upload the logo images via FTP. To transfer the files to the host, I'm using WinSCP, but you can use any FTP software. Set up the connection by entering the host name, username and password. Select the folder with the logos you've downloaded earlier as the local folder. And as the remote folder, select public HTML and then logos. Now just simply select all logos from the local folder and drag them to the remote folder. Great! You now know your domain and have the logos in place. Now it's time to create the text file with the links between the channels and logos. While it is a fairly simple process, it is quite time consuming. Each line consists of the TVG ID of the channel, a comma, and the URL of the logo associated with that channel. 
Notice that I used the TVG name for NPO News and Politics because the TVG ID was missing. So go ahead and create your own list. When finished, save the file to the WebGrab installation directory. It is important to give the file the name that was specified in the WebGrab configuration file. We are almost there. Since this is the first time we are using WebGrab, the license has to be validated. This is done in the WebGrab configuration by entering the letter F after license. Open WebGrab++ config.xml to make the change and save it to the WebGrab installation folder. Time to grab the EPG data. In the installation folder, double-click Run to start WebGrab. A command window opens and shows the process. When the grabbing is terminated, this window will close automatically. After retrieval, there will be two additional files in the directory, netherlands.xml and guidelogos.xml. If you compare these two files, you will see that the logos URL has been added to guidelogos.xml. This is the file that needs to be uploaded to the public HTML directory of your domain. So let's get to it. Open your FTP software. Log into your domain. Open the WebGrab installation folder in the local window and the public HTML in the remote window. Select guidelogos.xml in from the local folder and drag it to the remote folder. That's it. Now we can enter the URL in TVMate. Bring up the program guide. You see that it's empty, let's fill it with program information. Press and hold the OK button on your remote and select Settings. See that my custom-made playlist is loaded with only 15 channels. When I click on the playlist it shows no EPG sources. Press back two times and select EPG. Now select EPG sources, and then, add source. Here you should enter the URL of your domain, followed by a slash and the file name. Now click OK. You'll notice the message to assign the EPG to the playlist, let's do that. Press exit twice, select playlist and press OK. Press OK again and move to EPG sources. Select the unassigned source and press OK to link it to the playlist. The EPG shows that the program information is loaded. Now we want to see our own logos, so set the logos priority to prefer logos from EPG. Excellent! Good job! You've successfully added a custom EPG to your playlist. Did you like this video? Then give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see a video on automating the upload process, please say so in the comment section. Until the next one.